Hello Pisces, welcome to your energy reading for the week of the 24th of October. I hope you're doing well. Now let's uh, let's see what we have for you. Um, bear in mind that this is a, um, a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. And if you like the reading, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay Pisces, let's pick three cards and see what the energy story is like for you in the upcoming week. And the first card, we have collaboration. Okay. The artist in you is looking for collaborative opportunity. That's the first thing that popped up. And emotional balance. Okay. And then we have here rest. Okay, Pisces. So, um, yeah. So the key thing is the artist or the creative side of you is looking for collaborative collaborative opportunities and partners and uh, this could be something on the healing path as well um and i feel that you know it can bring you into greater emotional balance it's as if you need someone to mirror back to you what you are experiencing emotionally and the collaboration will be very very good for you uh, for both your personal life and your professional life it will bring some level of clarity and also you are encouraged to rest um, this week, a lot of uh, movement internally, as if some energies from the past is catching up and there's a lot of movement internally, forcing you on some level to come to a point of rest and then, um, you know, take stock after your rest and allow the emotional balance to, be, to help you to make decisions um, in the coming few weeks, okay, the upcoming weeks, there'll be some changes happening. Let's get some clarity on this. Um, we're going to pick three cards from here, Pisces, and let's see what else it says for you. And we have here growth, right? Definitely, we talked about that. Um, you need to rest and then, you know, have clarity, emotional balance, okay? All that's coming up for you. And we also have forgiveness, right? So very emotional time as well, right? Time to forgive, forgive self for past mistakes, forgive others, forgive situations as well. And that will bring you into emotional balance. And then we have here letting go. Wow. Forgiveness, letting go. This seems to be a theme going on here. Let's pick one more. Divine timing. So you may feel like in the past you need to grow or maybe you've been hard on yourself and thinking about some level of growth and reminding yourself, oh, maybe I should heal from this, maybe I should heal from that. But it didn't happen. Um, perhaps it could be timing, you're not ready. And now you are at a phase of growth. So it, you know the energies are really supporting you to let go, to forgive, okay? And so rest is also important for you this upcoming week. Um, I feel the collaboration card is also asking you to work with people that you trust who can guide you and motivate you because the healing process cannot be done um, solo. It's not a solo journey, right, in a healing process. So collaboration in that sense is also useful. Let's see, Pisces, what else? Let's pick three from this deck. And we have... First card here, a win-win outcome is forecast. Very nice. And expect powerful change, of course, you know, with forgiveness, we're letting go. Powerful change is bound to happen and communication is key. You're being reminded that you need to communicate. Communicate with others, communicate with self, right? And, you know, so that you know what is going on within your own consciousness as well. So journaling, highly encourage in your communication with self. Let's see what we get from this deck in terms of soul action, what you need to do to help yourself through this time. It's very good. Uh, I find the energy is really good for you in this upcoming week, a lot of healing, um, but you need to do your part, right, to uh, really, you know, the act of forgiveness and the letting go is essential for you to do. The responsibility lies within you, right? And if you do that, then you will find that growth can take place. You will come into emotional balance, okay? So Pisces, let's see. It says here, 
Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? This could help you to, you know, have clarity about decision. Um, today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you're going through. Feel your heart, take a breath and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Okay, that's nice. Let's pick one more. What risk can I take today? All right, what risk can I take today? What risk can you take to move towards your dreams, make a decision and do it? No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you are really made of. Very nice. Okay, let's have an inspirational card for Pisces here. We take it from the fairy deck. And magical blessings. Magical blessings. And it says here, whatever you're going through, you are being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. It's a nice card. So Pisces, if you need a personalized reading, you can always book a private session. Details are below this video. Have a wonderful week and I will see you. Bye for now.